Hello everybody and uh, good morning. So welcome to our first assembly of the Lent term. Without any further ado, let's just talk about how the awards are distributed. So um, first place, of course, takes a platinum or a gold um, certificate. Uh, any children with the, um, the, the second, third or fourth lowest assessment scores gain a silver certificate. And of course, the progress prize for the most of the bronze certificate for the most improved person in that form. So without any further ado, let's get on to 3C. So Mrs. Clark says 3C have been working hard and are showing an excellent interest in all topics. Everyone is involved in the classroom discussions, sharing ideas and listening carefully to the ideas of others. Pupils are beginning to pay more attention to improving their work rather than being satisfied with completing activities. Hopefully this work ethic will continue after half term. Overall, 3C are working hard and deserve a good rest over half term. So taking the progress prize in 3C, we have Francesca Pennington. Well done, Francesca. Taking the silver prize in 3C is Ruth Drummond, Ted Krill, Joshua Catchpool, Alexa Chambers, Zelia Boucher, and Elizabeth Bajant. Well done to you all. And taking the gold commendation in 3C, we have Verity Smith. Congratulations, Verity. Moving on now to 3L, Mrs Leverage says this has been 3L's best term yet, with very good effort marks across the board. In the classroom, 3L participate enthusiastically and have been trying hard to produce neat work. They have shared lots of great knowledge about ancient Greece and are settling down to work much more quickly. I would love to see the children trying particularly hard with their listening skills in games next term in order to boost their scores even more. Taking the Progress Prize in 3L, we have Harry Wilson. Congratulations, Harry. Taking the Silver Commendation in 3L, we have Savannah Hearn, Annabelle Morris, Victoire van der Poot Osman, um, Emily Meg Jimenez and Leo Roberts. Congratulations to you all. Taking the gold commendation in 3L. Well done, Elia Farrow. Congratulations. Moving on now to year four. And Mrs Lefebvre says, what a wonderful class to return to. 4F are kind, caring pupils who demonstrate wonderful manners. They're extremely enthusiastic about their learning. Most children listen very well to advice, have been working hard, to increase their resilience this half term. Some children need to organise themselves better with preps and try to become more independent learners. Thank you 4F for making my return to school such a positive experience. Have a brilliant half term break. That's lovely to read 4F, well done. Taking the progress prize in 4F, we have Jack Foyers, well done Jack. Taking the silver commendation in 4F, we have Melody Smith, Charlotte Olson, Olivia Ventura Napier, Jacob Warren, Esme Tarpey, and Molly Calvert. Congratulations to you all. Taking the gold commendation in 4F, we have Alice Lander. Well done, Alice. Moving now on to 4L, and Mrs. Livesey says, 4L pupils have managed brilliantly with the home learning, live lessons, and class sessions. Prep still need to be completed by some, and better revision of spellings and times tables by others. However, on the whole, there is brilliant effort and attainment being made, and I'm really pleased with the resilience, asking for help, and determination to succeed. How a wonderful holiday, 4L and get plenty of rest. 
taking the progress prize in 4L, we have Harry German. Well done, Harry. Taking the silver commendation in 4L, we have Nellie Griffiths, Bobby Billington and Megan Byrne. Congratulations to you three. And taking the gold commendation in 4L, we have Ellie Lander. Congratulations, Ellie. Moving on now to year five. 5M and uh, Miss McCarthy says, 5M have achieved yet another set of pleasing effort grades this term. They're a lovely class who, on the whole, settle quickly to their tasks in form time and show great interest in their learning. They are polite children who engage well with one another in the mornings. This coming half term is a well-deserved break for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next half term. Taking the progress prize in 5M, Raffaella McGreevy. Well done, Raffaella. Taking the silver commendation in 5M, we have Laura Goddard, Raffi Hearn, and Amelia Rigby, well done you three. And taking the gold commendation in 5M, we have Aaron Weston, well done Aaron, congratulations. Moving on now to 5R. Uh, 5R, overall a pleasing picture for 5R and a great start to the new year with all children achieving good and above for their effort grades. Congratulations to those children who have been putting in the extra effort required to achieve the must sought after excellent grades. As a form, targets for the next half a term are to settle quickly in lessons, focus fully and work independently. Happy half term, everyone. Taking the progress prize in 5R, we have Augustine Chamberlain. Well done, Augustine. Taking the silver commendation, we have Bella Livesey, Darcy Shears and Olivia Hughes. Well done, girls. And taking the gold commendation in 5R, we have shared. We have between Tiggy Chilvers, Titus Farrow and Amelia Pennington. Well done, you three. Moving on now to year six. 6D and Mr. Dewar says it has been pleasing to see that 6D are really enjoying school this term. The entire class have become more independent learners and are embracing the challenges of year six. A target for 6D is to make sure they are looking after resources properly and keeping their storage areas tidy and organized. Keep up the good work and enjoy your half term break. Wise words there, Mr. Dewar. I think everybody could take on board the whole notion of keeping their, their areas tidy. 6D now, the progress prize goes to Archie McNulty. Congratulations, Archie. The silver commendation goes to Georgie Binet, Ralph Griffin, Amelia Laurent Meadow, and Sienna Bajant. Congratulations to you four. And the gold commendation in 6D goes to Sophia Goddard. Well done, Sophia. Moving on now to 6J. Miss J Ann says, a very positive picture for 6J this term, with lots of pupils achieving some excellent scores. The majority of the class are working more independently and using their time wisely. However, we must remember to listen carefully to instructions and to leave the chatting for the playground. If we can follow the instructions at the first time of asking, our scores will be even better next half term. Have a lovely half term and come back refreshed and focused. Taking the progress prize in 6J, shared between Albert Maservi and Addison Barclay. Well done, you two.
taking the silver commendation in 6J. We have Star Green, Jack Ruane and Lily Wild. Congratulations to you three. Taking the gold commendation in 6J, shared once again between Gracie Stott and Victor Woolbrink. Well done you two. Moving on now to year seven, and Mrs. Allo says, this has been another busy half term, and I'm pleased to say that as a group, we continue to be happy, positive, while maintaining a good work ethic. You've all had a wonderful term and are working well across the board and achieving great results. Well done 7A and enjoy your half term break. Taking the progress prize in 7A, we have Robbie Curley. Congratulations, Robbie. Taking the silver commendation in 7A, we have Tom Palo, Hannah Rigby and Matilda Rowbottom. Well done, you three. And taking the gold commendation now in 7A, we have shared once again by Benjamin Carnegie Bedlow and Emily Hearn. Well done, you two. Moving on now to 7G, and Mr. Galichon says, 7G have all made a good start to the calendar year. I'm pleased to say on the whole, 7G have a very good set of effort marks. You all have a wonderful attitude towards school, and I'd like to see this continue next half term. Enjoy your well-deserved break. Taking the progress price in 7G, shared between um, Alexander Hendy, Harry Carnegie, and Iris Wilmot. Well done, you three. Taking the silver commendation in 7G, we have Lola Reynolds, Zara Hughes, Annabelle Mossop, and Isaac Weston. Well done, you four. And taking the gold commendation in 7G, we have Alana Bennett. Congratulations, Alana. Moving on now to year eight, uh, Mrs. Layton says, 8C have, for the most part, made an excellent start to 2022. They continue to be kind towards each other, showing great consideration in their interactions with their peers, and are always courteous and respectful towards their teachers. Few individuals have, at times, let themselves down, and they need to show a greater level of maturity next term and hold themselves to account for their behaviour. I've been impressed with how well the former prepared for their mock exams, but they must ensure they take time to relax over the half term break too. Very wise words there, Mrs. Layton. Make sure you find a good balance, please, all of year eight. Taking the progress prize in 8C is Emily Weary. Well done, Emily. Taking the silver commendation, we have Kate Fulane, Bella Woodruff, Willow Caro and Aoife Tarpey. Congratulations to you four girls. Taking the gold commendation in 8C, we have Sophia Williamson. Congratulations, Sophia. Moving on now to 8L, and Madame Lindsay says, this half term, the aim has been to ensure that form time is being used in a more constructive and productive way by generally focusing on revision tasks. 8L are a sociable group of students, and I would like to believe that their friendship will provide the positive support needed when preparing for the forthcoming mock examinations. As a whole, 8L also need to be congratulated for a very encouraging set of effort scores. From a social point of view, I'd like some students to realise that even if they belong to a group, they are still accountable for their own individual actions. Wise words indeed. Taking the progress prize in 8L, we have Liesl McVeigh and David Palmer. Congratulations to you two.
Taking the silver commendation in 8L, we have, have Hannah Goddard, Emily Dove, Alex Labess and Daisy Pierce. Congratulations to you four. Taking the gold commendation in 8L, we have Poppy Hughes. Congratulations, Poppy. And finally, we move on to Shell. And Mr. Sinclair says, Shell Group continue to enjoy the recognition and responsibilities associated with being at the top of the school. Congratulations to all members of Shell who have all been accepted into Holia. Unfortunately, assessment grades highlight a split between those functioning independently, conscientiously and in a hard-working manner and others who need to address their selective attitude. There is still a great deal to gain from the remaining time here at St Michael's and onwards next half term. Enjoy your short break next week. I do hope those individuals in Shell have taken that very well worded advice on board. Taking the progress prize in Shell, shared between Zaluca Piazza and Emily Laboutier. Emma Laboutier, well done you two. Taking the silver commendation is Ada Wilmot, Christian Woodcock and Isabella Lofthouse. Well done you three. And finally, taking the gold commendation in Shell, we have Lottie Clark. Congratulations Lottie, well done. So that concludes our um, first assessment assembly of the Lent term. Congratulations to all of those um, who have received some uh, commendation in some shape or form. Um, commiserations to those of you who haven't. Um, having put together all of the assessments, I can tell you that there were an awful lot of you who were just within a very, very small amount of getting some recognition. Don't forget, effort in every lesson is critical for you to try and get those awards. So now we move on to the house point. So what flag will be flying? Let's hope it's John. So let us see how we get on. So without any further ado, let's have a look at who is in fourth place. So it won't be John. Uh, John with an average of 62.7 points. Uh, I see that that is down John on last time. So we've clearly got some work to do to get that blue flag flying. So now we have a look at who is in third place with the highest average points. And in third place, we have Mark House with a collective average of 64.9 points. So as you know, on the next click of the mouse, we'll find out not only who is in second place, but who is in first. Currently, I believe we have a Luke flag flying. It's rather green up there. So let's see which flag will be flying next half term. So in second place, we have Mark House with, with an average of 67.8 points. So once again, we will see the green flag of Luke flying above the school with an average of 72.8. That's a very good average. Congratulations there, Luke House. So, well done everybody, um, that's our assessments concluded and our house points, so it just now leaves me for us to say the grace prayer together. So let us bow our heads and say the grace prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. Boys and girls, have a lovely half term. If you are revising, um, year eight and shell. Remember what we said earlier, do strike a balance. Don't spend too much time with your head in the books, but at the same time, do you give yourself uh, a good opportunity to, to be the very best that you can. Have a great half term, everybody. Bye-bye.